Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just started some work. Oh, I put my head in that. I've just started some work on a new journal, and it's going to be doily themed. And I was watching another lady on um, YouTube, and she printed on paper doilies, and I was like, oh wow, <laughs> that's um, pretty cool. So I've got my three signatures here. And they're pretty much packed with things um, but I've got it all packed up because I'm ready to go to our daughter's place because she's, she's like anytime mum I'm gonna ring you all this baby's coming so um oh, these are my digital print doily prints and I've got different things in here the next video will show you more but then I jumped up and I thought oh, I'm gonna try some of those printing on paper doilies so this was my first try <laughs> look at it <laughs> um it got caught yeah <laughs> and didn't fare real good so i hope it doesn't do anything bad to the printer <laughs> but this was my second try and this is how it came out quite pretty hey so I'm going to add these into my doily journal and look when you get the negative you get the printed doily and then the negative you can use that page as well isn't it gorgeous so that was my second try this was my third try I hope that's not a message from anyone <laughs> this was my third try and they came out quite pretty too so I've got two nice printed doilies there and there's one coming out of the printer right now as we speak hopefully here we go look at this one so I'll take it off the paper and show you so it didn't give much of a negative on here because it took up nearly the whole page Oh, look how pretty that is so that can go straight into my doily journal yeah so I just wanted to show you these um, it's quite exciting because you know we often um, print we try to tea dye well we tea dye them to try and get them make to look different um, I've stenciled on them before to make them look different but this is a bit of a game changer isn't it so the lay I'll have the links to the ladies channel below I'm sorry I can't remember her name um, just off the top of my head actually I should look I could look it up because I only just finished um, watching it um, okay her name is Cheryl Cheryl Ta Talafus and I'll have her link below to her channel this is her channel here if you want to have a look um, that's her channel there so um, yeah I'll have her link below and you can see how she um, did it with the regarding the glue stick she was using Yoohoo this is just a um, uh, a real cheap brand glue stick and what I found worked for me was I'll try and give one a go was to actually run it on my I've got a piece of um this is just chopping board and back in the day I used to use this with my watercolor uh, pencils I'd scribble on here and then pick up the paint so I'm just um, putting a generous amount of that on there and then just touching that touching those edges all the way around and I found this worked best for me but you can try try what works best for you don't put a lot of glue on that's the only thing you don't want lots and lots of glue just enough to tack it down okay just enough to close all the edges so there's nothing hanging loose I'll put that in the printer and pick a pick a paper 
So I'll just pick a paper on my one of my ones. Um, okay, we'll see how that goes. Huh, let's see how that one prints. Because I've got three signatures. Um, yeah. So my next video, I'll show you more in these um, in the pages of these. This was a um, a doily printout that I made into a little book quite a while ago now. Just a little tea dyed book. So I'll add that into this journal as well. So there's lots of fun things going on in there. I've added that um, I've added that tag that I made into here. Yeah. So I'll show you show you that in the next video anyway. But in the next video you won't see these because I've already done the video. But I can use still half of this. I'll still use some of that for something. This poor doily. It didn't seem to affect the printer because the printer's still working. So, I don't know, must be pretty good in there. <laughs> so I've got a Epson um, ET2700 um, EcoTank printer. That's what I'm printing on or with. So, so yeah, we'll see how this one comes out. It's still coming. I've got it on. Sometimes I do um, just the um, regular default settings, and other times I'll do um, print it on matte paper because it, te it tends to give me a deeper, um, more vibrant print so that's what I did this one I picked matte paper on here but I didn't check the, <laughs> the size of the um the picture so it didn't get the ends of the but that's okay I'll still use it still use that one so yeah these are quite exciting because um it's just going to give you another dimension isn't it with your um with your doilies I've got a whole stack of them that I've found at the op shops and um, you know I'm always looking for different ways to use them so uh, that'll be good that'll be good yeah so as long as you just tack down just just all the edges um, you'll be right you'll be right you won't get stuck I only got the one stuck <laughs> so come on we're waiting waiting I think I put it on matte for this one as well that's why it's taking it does take a bit longer to print when it goes on on that what else can I talk about while we wait uh, went to spotlight found this nice stamp set I think it was only eight dollars got some pretty pretty um stamps in that I love this moth and that the mushroom I love it all it's got a nice little um little label here too a life documented which is pretty cool and I picked up a pack of these oh, I've already torn the packet out of the, the out of the packet that was the the um it was called reflection uh recollection recollections recollections yeah wooden embellishments now this there was two different places where they had these wooden embellishments this was in a separate place and it was six dollars for 28 of them so there's quite a few in there but then the other spot where they had them were dearer with less in it. So pasters look through everything. So I'm going to use some of these to uh, on my gel plate as well as little stamps or you know that sort of thing just to make pattern. So those ones were all flowers, roses and flowers and leaves. So I'll give that a go see how it goes but I'm not going to be able to oh, I've got some things put together I've got a whole whole tray of things here put together to take to Madeline's but I don't I'm not going to be doing much unless he's snoring because <laughs> you know a toddler running around is going to keep me on my toes so but all good looking forward to going over doing some things now um yeah so watch out for my next video that's going to show you more of the doily journal and then the following video i make tags with some of the extra doily um printables that 
that um, came out so ones I didn't use up or um, um, I have got some part doilies that I'm trying to put up on my Etsy at the moment and I printed some of them and cut them into tags and and added different things onto them so which was um, pretty cool I um, let's see if I've got a couple here to show you okay there's a couple there's these little sneak peek so I used some of those little um, little stamps that I was doing not long back because I just didn't know what to do at the time and yeah so hey watch out for the following video after that and I'll show you how I made these and then here's my printout wow look at this one oh this one's beautiful okay I hope it comes off the paper whoa yeah this one's pretty come on come off you can do it <laughs> so just remember not to put too much glue but you need enough glue that it's going to um it needs enough glue that's not going to pop up oh come on you can do it you can do it <laughs> oh, I tore it a little bit but that's okay that's okay just a little bit stuck on there but look at that you get the the um the impression and the doily the doily is just beautiful isn't it so that's pretty cool that's one of my vintage sheets I'll have to put them up soon too on Etsy let's see if we can get this off I wonder if I used my Yeah, that's got it off. My glue eraser. That's got the paper off. There you go. The doily didn't fare that well, but that's okay. So we got this one. That one. This one. It's pretty cool. I love how big that is. And this whole big one too, this big square one. So give that a try. Don't be scared because um, I was scared the first time I put it in my printer. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> um, but it didn't seem to hurt it anyway. And also the lady that did these, she also printed on her piano roll. So I haven't tried that. Might do it in another video. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Pop over to her channel. And um, give her a like and everything over there and say hi. Um, I newly subscribed to her channel. So, um, yeah, share the love. I hope you, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here with me. And, um, yeah, where we just share what we love, what we love to make. And it's mainly paper crafting, but whatever, whatever we're doing at the time. All right, so, um, yeah, watch out for my new video coming up on the doily um doily journal all right thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye